Welcome down to the Tech Desk, and in today's video, we're gonna crack on with looking at this. This is the LightMe Neo HDMI 2.0 Sync Box Light Kits. So essentially what it is, you stick lights around your telly and it reacts to what's on the screen around the edges. I've already done a video on one of these on another product, and that was great. However, it did take a little bit of setting up and you have to tweak it and you have to spend ages. If you're like me, and sometimes you just can't be bothered with stuff, this is for you. This is literally plug and play. I am literally going to be talking about this for about two minutes, and then you're gonna to have to see the results because there's no setting up, there's no nothing. You just kind of clip it in, get it right fitted, and you're in. So when you open the box, you get a load of clips, you get a load of plastic clips, you get the lights themselves. And I wanted to show you the lights. So this is the off cut that I've taken, okay? Look at how big and thick this light is it is phenomenally large. When you get the pack out, when you get the roll of light out, it's huge. And you just think, I'm really getting a decent product here. It feels great. So what else it comes with? It comes with this is the, the sync box. And on the back there, we have input and output on the HDMI. So uh, whatever, uh, let's say for me, my PS5, it goes into the input and it comes on the output there, it goes into the telly. You have the two lights here, so you plug whichever one you need to in there. Um, it explains the process on how to do that. And then we have the power and a reset button on the other side. Here is the length of light that I use for my 55 inch telly. Um, it starts in the bottom left corner, goes all the way up to the top, all the way along to the right, and it stops there. And that's where I cut it off, uh, about 45 centimeters, the off cut here. And then I have another one that starts in the bottom left again, and that goes along the bottom of the telly, and then up the right hand side of the telly. So this is the thing, it has a nice big long USB. So this one would be, um, if you look on there, it goes side and then bottom. So this one on the left is for the side and then the top and this right one is for the side and the bottom. So if, this, if I was putting this down along the um, side and then along the top, I would plug that one into there. Then you'd install it on the other side and then plug it into there. I said, comes with a load of these plastic clips. They're not too bad. It comes with some 3M stickers. Unfortunately, I've, I've had, because I've had to take this off to show you guys, I've left the 3M sticker on the telly, so I just had to kind of peel it off. So this is that. And this goes, you get a load of these. This goes on the side or the, um, the top or the bottom. And then all you do is you put it in there and you kind of clip it in like that. So it's all clipped in like that. And that sticks on your telly like that, so it shines up. Then just similarly, when you get the corner bits like that, you're just gonna put this on the corner. Like so, wrap it round to make sure it's clipped in. So that goes on the corner. Really neat solution for the corners of the telly. And that's it. Once you've plugged that in, you then fire up the app and it just tells you which way have you done it. And then it tells you on the screen. Thing is, I can't actually show you the app at the minute because this needs to be plugged in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna quickly run away, plug this in so we can get the app working. Back in a second. Just forgot to take these. And I'm back. Okay, lesson learned. What you're gonna need to do is if you want it to be recognized via the app, both sets of lights need to be plugged in, okay? You don't need to use the app if you don't want to. Um, you can go through it without connecting it to your Wi-Fi router. It works no problem at all. But if you want to use the app, you're gonna need to set it up via, the, the, um, by, via your router. So when you first fire up the app, it's gonna be so, so easy. It's just got a little bit of information at the top, nine degrees Celsius temperature. Um, it has air quality and humidity as well. I'm not sure how I trust that, but I kind of ignore that anyway. And then underneath you've got uh, screen sync smart lights. So you click on that and here we have either screen or music. So you're gonna type on screen and you're either gonna have it on weak, normal or high. I have it on high just because I can. And um, if you want to use music, um, it can do sense on the music on the, it's got a little like kind of microphone on it, it does the music, but I just keep it on screen on, on, on high. And if you want to, you can set all these scenes if you want to. But for me, I haven't used any of them. I've just stuck it on the screen because it does look so cool. So all you're gonna do is screen high, that's it leave it, never have to touch the, the kind of the app again. 
And there are a couple of things I did want to mention. There are two things that you might want to consider before getting this. Uh, for starters, if you want to use, so I've got my PlayStation connected to it. If you want to use your PlayStation, it has to be on. This has to be on for your PlayStation to work. It kind of doesn't do pass through unless there's power to it. So I've got a power plug that I use to plug in that I have off overnight, has a lot of high draw things. That, this is connected to that. If I don't have that on, I can't play my PlayStation, so I have to have that connected, just to note. But however, it does do 4K and it does do HDR. I've got that no problem. HDR 10 set up on my TV with 4K. No issues at all passing that through. And the other thing as well is it works off HDMI. So it takes the source in, it registers everything from the outside, and then puts that onto the screen, which you'll see in the demo later. Um, when it does black boxes, that's his clever little thing is when it does black boxes, it actually reads a little bit further down. But for the most part on the demo I'm gonna show you, you will see how accurate and how good this is. But it, as I was saying, it only goes through one HDMI. So if you're like me and got a Samsung with a, a breakout box, you're only gonna be doing it on one source. So on my PlayStation 5. So I've also got my Switch on there, uh, my Skybox as well. I can't use it on those two because I would need to, to swap around with the HDMI's and I can't be bothered with that. Whereas if you've got something like um, like an amp with one in, one out, kind of like all in, sorry, and one out, it might work like that. It's just I haven't tested it and I haven't been able to confirm that. So that's just something to note if this is something that you're picking up. Okay, I'll leave links down below where you can get hold of this. Go and have a look. And now I'm gonna stop the talking because it's all in the, it's all in the demo. This thing is absolutely phenomenal. What I'm gonna do now is just gonna have a few minutes of uh, demo of what it looks like on different games and different sources. Do like, do subscribe to the next video. Bye bye. Ha 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 ha!